Two children and their mother couldn't escape this burning Salem Township home when Christina Shaner rushed to help and saw her neighbor trapped on the deck with smoke and flames behind her. She was holding the, I think it might be two or three, holding him and just screaming, help me, help me. My older son's still in the house. Shaner rushed inside to try to rescue the older child, but flames and smoke drove her back out to the still trapped mother and toddler above her. And I said, just drop, drop him down, give him to me, you know, and so she just you know, dropped him down to me and then she climbed over the side. Her catch saved lives. So how much of a drop was that? Maybe 20 feet. So you kind of maybe dropped 15 to 20 yeah, feet? Yeah, yeah. I mean, she, she hung him down. So when she hung him down, it wasn't, you know, as far. Um, maybe, maybe 10 feet if that one. She had him over the edge. Fortunately, yeah. Christine got involved, did a great job. Community hero. She did. She saved two people's lives today. So hats off to her. Firefighters rescued the boy trapped inside. He was helicoptered to a hospital. The fire chief says shortages mean volunteer firefighters are needed. You know, we had to have 12 fire companies moving on a fire that's usually required by two engine companies. We had to have 12 here because of the manpower issue. You know, we have fire trucks rolling in here with one, per one person, two people. That's not enough to do the job. We need people to get involved. Very overwhelming. Uh, I think I'm going to be traumatized a little bit from this. It's going to heighten my alertness and sensitivity to make sure that, you know, all my smoke detectors are working and that we have everything that we need to do. The state police fire marshal is investigating the cause of the fire. Reporting live in Salem, Westmoreland County, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.